Everybody, it's Dr. Roto. Get out the insurance cards. Get out the copay. The office is open, my friends. This is not going to be a long podcast today. It's going to be a rather short one. I've got about a thousand things to do, and not that you need to know my life story, but I got kids going to camp. I got doctors. And there's a million things, but I got to get this information to you because I think it's critically important because I want to look at tonight's DFS slate. Because I think this is very, very confusing. And I want to bring you in on a couple of theories that I've discussed in the past. And I want to discuss tonight. So, first of all, you have your expensive pitcher theory. Okay? In the expensive pitcher theory, you've got a pitcher who on DraftKings tonight... And actually, let me do FanDuel. FanDuel might be easier... His name is Chris Sale. He will go for $11,500. On DraftKings, he's going to go for $14,100. $14,100. Do I like Chris Sale? Yeah, of course I do. Of course I do. Here's Chris Sale's fantasy points for the season. Are you ready? In FanDuel. 46, 51, 64, 67, 52, 61, 42, 58, 49, 41, 33, 46, 43. Are you kidding me? I mean, seriously. He averages over 50 fantasy points a game. He never has a bad start. That's pretty amazing. I mean, seriously, he's gone two games without a quality start. Two. But he's going to cost you... $11,500. $11,500. Okay. Now, second thing you need to know. It's a chorus field game. Immediately, you've got to be interested in what's going on there. The Rockies and Giants. 11. But I can't put Chris Sale in with all my Rocky hitters. And my Rocky hitters are going to cost me a piece of the rock. So on FanDuel, my Rocky hitters, Charlie Blackman, over $5,000. Nolan Arenado, over $4,500. I'm going to pay a lot of money for these guys. Now, what can I do if I want to have a piece of this team? Maybe I get the cheaper Rockies. So as much as I like Arenado and Blackman... Maybe I take my lineup out and I put in, I'm doing this right now with you here, maybe a little Mark Reynolds, maybe an Ian Desmond, right? Maybe I do that. So I still have Rockies, but I don't have my favorite Rockies, right? Because my favorite Rockies are Arenado and Charlie Blackman, but maybe I can't afford them. So maybe I've got to look for Mark Reynolds and Ian Desmond and DJ LeMahieu and do it that way and stack some righty bats against Matt Moore, right? I could do that, but I'm not sure that's the best thing to do because I really want to get those other bats in, right? I really want to get these other bats in and I want to let you in on a little secret. Here's a little secret that only people who are going to listen to this podcast know. Matt Moore against lefty hitters. His ERA is 8.22. His batting average is 3.66. Against righties, he's actually been a little better. So he's 453 and 254, right? 453 being the ERA. So I really don't necessarily know if I want righty bats against him, but I can't get my lefty bats in. So do I want Mark Reynolds and Arenado? I want Arenado, and I want Charlie Blackman. I want Arenado because he kills everything, and I want Charlie Blackman because he's a left-handed bat that Matt Moore can't get out. But now it's expensive. So hold on a second. But Dr. Roto, you told me that Chris Sale was expensive, and now the Rockies are expensive. What do we do? These are great questions. Do I go with an El Cheapo pitcher? Right? Do I go with an El Cheapo pitcher? So ask yourself this question. And we do this in football a lot. I need to win a tournament. I need Chris Sale to probably give me five times his value. 
five times his value. Am I going to get 55 points tonight? I don't know. If I don't, I spend too much for him. If I don't get 55 points from him, it's not enough. But like with Russell Westbrook, remember him? When he was costing 13000 bucks, he was putting up 70 FanDuel points. So it was worth it. You have to determine whether or not Chris Sale can get you 55 FanDuel points. Well, how many times has he done that this year? One, two, three. Last game. Listen up now. Last game. Seven innings, nine hits, three runs, seven strikeouts, a win, and a quality start was only worth 43. Interesting, right? Here's one where he put up 49. Seven innings, seven hits, two earned runs, 10 strikeouts, quality start. Didn't get the win. So let me give you an example of a game where he broke 55. Seven innings, two hits, two walks, 12 strikeouts, three runs, a win, and a quality start. I'm going to need a night like that from Chris Sale to make him worth my money. Can he do that for me? Maybe. Seems seems a lot. But what about what about Jeff Hoffman? Jeff Hoffman got me 55 FanDuel points a couple of weeks ago. Seven innings, three hits, nine strikeouts, one earned run, one walk, one one quality start. And he's 6,600. So hold on a second. 6,600 times five. I only need this guy to get a 33 to make him worth my money. See what I'm saying to you? Sometimes it's better to go with the cheaper pitcher than Chris Sale. Especially the cheaper pitcher who can exceed value. Which cheaper pitcher can exceed value? Chris Sale's not exceeding 55. He might be reaching 55, but is he exceeding 55? For my money tonight, my favorite starts are Jordan Montgomery, who's at $7,500. So if I do 7,500 times five, right? I'm going to need about 30, 38 points from him. Can I get that? Sure. Here's a game that he gave 39 points. Six and two-thirds innings, two hits, six strikeouts, one earned run, one quality start. That was 39. Could I get that from him? Yeah. I could get that from him. He's also going to cost me 7500 bucks. Do you see what I'm saying? So I may be off in my five times number. But I think five times is a fair number. It's a number we use in football and a number we often use in basketball. Sometimes we even go 6x in basketball. But I'll go 5x here. So can Chris Sale get me 5x? Maybe. Can Jeff Hoffman get me 5x? Yes. Yes. So don't just look at tonight's slate and say to yourself, Oh my God, I must get Chris Sale in. You might want to get him in, but is that the right move to get him in? Now, conversely, can Charlie Blackman get me 5X? 5X for Charlie Blackman is going to be a big old night for him. I'm going to need a home run from him and a couple of RBIs. Right? How do I get 25 points from Charlie Blackman? He's $5,000. I need 25 points. Well, one for four with a home run, two RBIs, a run scored, and a walk. That gets me 25 points. Can I get that tonight from him? I think I can. Right? So I want you to go through tonight and ask yourself, who can I get five times my value for? Five times my value for. If I can get it, I'm going to like that. So you know I have what's called the Erasmo. The Erasmo Theory. The Erasmo theory is when I find the cheapest pitcher on the slate or the cheapest pitcher I like on the slate and I stack a lot of good bats with him. Tonight is an Erasmo night for me. I would rather go cheap pitcher, stack heavily, and go contrarian against Chris Sale. Will this come back to bite me? Maybe. Maybe. But I think if Jeff Hoffman pitches well and I get the hitting... I could be your rich friend tomorrow. So as much as I've been saying I don't want to play tonight, I might end up playing tonight. You know what I'm saying? 
I might end up playing tonight because I want to take this theory and see if it works. Because if Jeff Hoffman pitches well, which I think he can, and my hitters come to play tonight because Nick Pavetta sucks, we got a shot to make some money. I just have to decide if I want the Arenado Blackman or if I want to get myself some Mark Reynolds, Ian Desmond thing. So I want to look at two things. I told you about Matt Moore, but now I want to look at hitting for a second. Hitting versus pitching. So versus left, versus lefties. Nolan Arenado is hitting 412. 412. Ian Desmond, Desmond hitting 297. Mark Reynolds hitting 194. So remember I said, can this guy hit, you know, Matt Moore is better against worse against lefties, but Arenado hits 412. I need him in my lineup. I need Blackman in my lineup. Not only is a black Blackman a left-handed hitter, he hits lefties well too. Right? So does Arenado. They get in my lineup. That's why I come down to that. Now, in any of these theories, whether you go the expensive pitcher or you go the Erasmo, there's probably going to be one player that you're going to have to take a shot on. Don't do anything now. Wait until lineups come out. By like 5.30, 6 o'clock, I want you to check out scoutfantasy.com. Go check out the optimizer. Look for that jewel at an outfield. Usually outfield's a good place to find it. Who's the guy that's playing for 2000 bucks tonight? Who's the guy for $2,100 tonight? I'll give you an example. Maybe it's Malik Smith for $2,200. Maybe, maybe, maybe. If he's batting leadoff against Verlander, I might take a shot. But just wait on that as long as you possibly can and see where you get value. You always will need one cheap player. Find that one cheap guy, surround him with some big old bats, get the Erasmo in there, and you might be my rich friend. All right? How do you find out about the optimizer? It's simple. You go to scoutfantasy.com. You enter the promo code ROTO. You pay for one month. We'll get you two more for free. And then you will have access to the optimizer. And when you do, you will do what I said. You'll check out the optimizer. You'll try to find out the cheaper guy. And the cheaper guy to plug in at the end with your expensive hitters like Arenado and Charlie Blackman. And then we'll have a really good shot. And that's all we could ask for, a really good shot to make a lot of money. But right now, it's time to put away the insurance cards, put away the copay. The office is closed, my friends. Back tomorrow with the mock draft world championship. I'll be doing another draft. I'm looking forward to it. Have a great day. Be well. Take care.